Now we're going to take examples on solving logarithmic equations using the laws of logarithms. First, let's summarize the laws of logarithms. The first law, the multiplication inside the log can be turned into addition outside the log. So log base e of x1 times x2 equals log base e of x1 plus log base e of x2. x1 and x2 cannot be negative and cannot be zero and a cannot be negative and cannot be zero and cannot be equal to one the second law or the division law so division inside the log can be turned into subtraction outside the log and vice versa so log base e of x1 over x2 equals log base e of x1 minus log base e of x2 and the opposite is also true the third law or the exponent law an exponent on the number inside the log can be moved outside the log as multiplication. The above rules work only if the bases are the same. And for all the above rules, the x values are only positive numbers not equal to zero. And the bases are all positive numbers not equal to zero and not equal to one. The fourth law, the logarithm of a number to the same base is always one log a base a is 1 the log of 1 to any base is always 0 find in r the solution set of the following logarithmic equation log base e of x plus 3 plus log base e of x plus 7 equals log base e of 21 solving an equation means finding the value of x we have addition outside logarithm turn it into multiplication inside the log using the first law of logarithms so log base a of x plus 3 times x plus 7. So x plus 3 times x plus 7 to be equal to log base e of 21. The log in both sides of the equation have the same base. So the number inside the log in both sides are equal. So this expression equals 21. So remove the log in both sides. So x plus 3 times x plus 7 equals 21. Now we have a simple equation we can solve to get x. We have the product of two binomials times x to be x squared and x times 7 to be 7x and, and then 3 times x to be 3x and finally 3 times 7 to be 21. This is equal to 21. Move the 21 to the left hand side so x squared plus 7 and 3 to be 10x and 21 minus 21 to be 0. So this is equal to 0. Take out x as a common factor. So x divide each term by x to be x squared divided by x to be x and plus 10x divided by x to be 10. This is equal to 0. Finally, x is 0. So x plus 10 is 0. Move the 10 to the other hand side. So x is negative 10. The number inside the logarithm must be a positive number not equal to 0. And we have to check whether the solution of the equation satisfies that condition. Start at x equal to 0. The number inside the logarithm is 0 plus 3 to be 3. So it's okay. Check at x equals negative 10. Negative 10 plus 3 equals negative 7. This gives a negative number inside the logarithm of the first term. So this solution is refused. And we consider only x equal to 0. So the solution set is 0. Number 2. Find in R the solution set of the following logarithmic equation. Log base 5 of x squared plus log base 5 of 2 equals log base 5 of 18. Use the first law to turn the addition outside the log into multiplication inside the log. So we have log base 5 of x squared times 2 to be 2x squared. This is equal to log base 5 of 18. Both sides have log 5. So remove the log in both sides. So 2x squared equals 18. Divide by 2. So x squared is 9. Now x is positive or negative 3. Now we need to check the negative x value in the original equation because the number inside the logarithm must be a positive number not equal to 0. So if, if x is negative 3, x squared will be a positive number. So 
the solution set is 3 and negative 3. Number 3, find in R the solution set of the following equation. Log of 2 to the base x, move 2 to be an exponent on the number inside the logarithm. Log 2 to the power 2 to the base x plus log base x of 14 minus Move the 3 as an exponent on the number inside the logarithm to be log base x of 3 to the power 3. This is equal to 3 means 3 times 1. We can change it into a logarithm having the same base as the next term. The next term has the base of x. So change 3 into 3 times log x to the base x plus log 7 to the base x. Now change addition outside logarithm into multiplication inside logarithm. So this is equal to log to the same base x of. We have 2 squared. Change the addition into multiplication. So times 14. Now change the subtraction outside logarithm into division. So divide by 3 to the power 3. For the right hand side, Move the 3 as an exponent on the number inside the logarithm. So log x to the power 3 base x plus log of 7 base x. Log base x of 4 times 14 over 27 equals change the addition outside logarithm into multiplication inside the logarithm. So this is equal to log of log base x of x cubed times 7. The two hand side of the equation have a logarithm with the same base. So remove the logarithm from both sides of the equation. So finally, the number inside the logarithm is equal in both sides. So 4 times 14 over 27 to be equal to x cubed times 7 or 7x cubed. Now simplify. So x cubed is equal divide by divide by 7. So x cubed is equal to 8 over 27. Take the cubic root. So x is cubic root of this to be 2 over 3. The solution set is 2 over 3.